Hey, what's up, YouTubers? <laughs> I love saying that. I hate that. That pisses me off when you go look at a YouTube video. Hey, what's up, YouTubers? It's like, what does the author expect? People are going to email them back. Hey, Jimbo, yeah, everything's just fine here. Sorry, I had to throw that in. Had a lot of coffee. Hey, I want to do a quick video. Uh, maybe this will help somebody out. Maybe it won't. If anything, it'll prevent fire. I'm uh, fire sensitive, having two, having lived through three house fires now, one in um, Miami and two garage fires in the other house. <clears throat> I'm on my old house, I mean, my new house, which is an old house built in 78, and doing uh, remodels here, there, and everywhere. And I wanted to show you something in the garage. When I first bought the house, and I had the inspectors here before I made an offer, <clears throat> one of the things they cited in the, uh, the home inspection was that this was built in 1978 this house and it has a two bay garage a nine foot garage over there and an eight foot garage where i'm standing here it's kind of a split level affair and they said that the firewall the uh, drywall in the garage is not x-rated it's not fire rated uh <clears throat> i know about drywall having to be fire rated for anything that's underneath a bedroom living space and it had to be 5 8 inch. I did not know about the letter X as an X-ray. Uh, in fact, you'll see this is a new piece of drywall. See the X there? X means it meets the current fire rating, whatever that is, two hour or something like that. <clears throat> and prior to that, I don't know what year that was introduced, but in 1978, <clears throat> the 5H drywall that was employed in houses was not x-rated fire rated so i kind of uh freaked out when i bought the house i started spending money like a drunken sailor uh on upgrading stuff the roof the electrical panel uh the garage doors which was a, a must and one of the things i did this was prior to me moving in and because i needed some other interior drywall work done and some walls removed is i hired the one of the drive one of the four drywall people that i didn't fire and had them tear out all the drywall in this one bay to put in new uh, 5 8 x-rated firewall or drywall and i was originally going to do both sides i just ran out of time there was so much commotion happening in my life with moving and getting ready to sell the other house that i thought well for the time being have him do only the side that's above the bedrooms so the way this split level is made the two bedrooms are up or two of the uh, bedrooms are there and the roof line splits and lowers so this half is just an attic above it there's no living space above it uh, but all this area is and, and what's uh, what they call the alcove on the blueprints this area in here which I made a toll room but which is going to change this is going to be a socialization social area called the man cave all this stuff is coming out you're going to put real nice floors in here like a granite epoxy looking floor uh, table, uh, a chair, maybe a recliner or something, carpet and table, and uh, uh, refrigerator, and so people have drinks and socialize here. Uh, but anyway, this is living space up there, so that's all new 5 8 uh, x ray. Anyway, when I uh, had these guys tear this out right before they put the new drywall in on the ceiling, I'm already trying to think ahead of what I'm going to do. And I'm a big stickler about lighting. This was an existing lighting fixture. It was pretty sketch right now, but it's work in progress. Hey, YouTubers, how you doing? <laughs> uh, anyway, I strang, uh, strung a new piece of Romex 14 gauge to uh, a box here, another plastic box in anticipation for putting a duplex receptacle there and uh, hanging fluorescent lights, which have been sitting here for almost two years now. So I'm woefully behind the schedule. And... Uh, you know, on this side, I didn't do anything because I have attic access here. So I can get in the attic. And my thought was is to pepper this ceiling with those retro boxes, those blue plastic ones, and put my needed receptacles there for garage lighting. But don't ask me how I got on this thing about fire rating. I realized that there are different fire ratings uh, for National Electrical Code for these boxes here that you get at Home Depot. And I wanted to go over those real quick and uh i don't know if you're gonna be able to see those but these are what they call old work boxes or what i call retro boxes i've used these for years where if you wanted to put a new outlet in the wall you just 
uh, trace the outline, cut it with a drywall saw, and stick the box in and put those wings on, or, or those wings out and well up. Same thing with the ceiling. You just cut a hole uh, in the ceiling or in a wall for a new light fixture, and you put these ones. And then they have these uh, new construction boxes here that are plastic, but they're nail in. They're meant for uh, the selfie sticks not behaving here. Bear with me. There we go. Uh, these nail in boxes. So if you're building new construction, you would nail this up against the stud and you're good to go. As luck would have it, they are different fire ratings. And the way you find out what the fire rating in the box is, I don't know if we can see it, but there's a UL, Underwriters Laboratory, seal in here in each one of these plastic boxes. Uh, bear with me. See it on the right there? Uh, you'll see a WC. It'll show a two-hour... See the circle? I can't point to it because I'm holding a selfie stick in the right hand and a box on the left. But there's a big molded button in the middle. But to the right of that, there's the UL. And on the bottom half of that circle, it says 2HRWC. And what that stands for is that's the needed two-hour fire rating. And W and C means that this box is suitable for wall mounting here and C for ceiling. Okay. And uh, after learning that, I thought, oh, shit, you know, I had put this box in here. No my luck, I would put a retro box in or an old construction box. But I thought, well, no, actually, I don't think I did because I ran that wire in anticipation for another fixture, a wall socket, a duplex receptacle, before the drywallers put the new 5 8 in, 5 8 drywall, and I probably would have nailed it to a stud. And as luck would have it, there is a stud here, and I did just that. I got up on my little portable uh, stand, or little step stool thing, with a uh, my readers on, and I looked up in there, and this is one of these nail boxes that says two hour uh, wall and ceiling, WC. So I'm good with that one. The original construction looks like they used Bakelite in here, which is not PVC. Uh, I don't know what the fire rating of that is, but being how it's original, I'm not going to monkey with it. Same with the uh, wall switch here in the garage. I have to replace this switch. This is a Bakelite box in there, but this is Mickey Mouse because they were doing what they call stab in the back back then where they stick the wire in the back of these uh, spring-loaded slots, which are no good. Uh, so I have a new switch. You can see how ahead of my schedule I am. I got a new switch. It's been sitting here for six months. New wall plate. I'm going to sand this down, paint this, and replace that switch. That's It's a two-way switch for that light fixture and that light fixture. And there's the other two-way switch there. So the, I guess they're thinking, once well, you come in the garage, you can turn the lights on. So that's the one I extended. Uh, so again, these are okay to use for the ceiling. These are not okay, repeat, not okay for the ceiling. Unfortunately, I had put these in my old house, not knowing that they're not fire rated for ceiling. But the upshot is, is the garage in my old house had no living uh, space above it. So I don't think I really jeopardized the fire rating uh, for that house and the occupant, which I know, uh, nice fella. So uh, these are rated for wall only. Uh, and it actually says in here, I'm not going to try to focus in and torture you guys, but it says two hour wall rating, which means this is fine for wall work when you're doing retros. This is okay for wall work, although I don't know why you'd put that in the wall, maybe to put a light, a vanity or some sort of a light in a bathroom or something like that. But ceiling, that's a no-no. So it's good to know because I was probably uh, ready to, well... Yeah, I don't know if I could cut those in here or not. So they said two hour uh, rating ceiling. And I don't know if that's a requirement for here because there's no living space. But needless to say, I'm not going to put a non-ceiling rated plastic PVC box in the ceiling, period, whether it's here or elsewhere. So the only caveat is, I believe I did violate the rule when Mallory and I put these pendulum lights in here pendulum lights when i bought the house Go over this here real quick before the video gets too long uh there was this nasty looking set of cupboards uh over here before the drywall work and i removed those <clears throat> and i cut a hole here and fished over a piece of wire romex to this light fixture here 
idealistically I would have these on two different light switches in the kitchen but there was no easy way to bring a wire down here at the time and I said what the heck as it turns out they dim kind of a different rate because of the light bulbs that are in here so these pendulum lights dim more than this but where I was going with that I don't remember what kind of box I put in here it might have been a circular retro box uh, or even a square retro box which is not uh, ceiling rated for two hour uh, there's nothing above here there's no living space here the upstairs bedroom start on there uh, but that still could have been a violation of fire so I may have to drop this panel and see what's up there uh, it also could be that the metal shroud over top of this actually suffices for the uh, two hour ceiling fire rating I don't know but something to think about uh, when I put the sliding door in, I uh, did some electrical modifications because there was plumbing over here and wiring. So I had to continue the wiring down underneath the uh, crawl space up on the other side. So I did put retro boxes or old work boxes there with the tabs there. One over here. I brought it up for the light switch. and But those boxes are two hour wall. So I'm good there. And for this I did on the outside no, I didn't actually do that. I did one of these uh, little extension boxes here, or little standoffs for the siding for the outside light. So anyway, if you find this video and are doing any kind of retro work, uh, I would say continue using the, the tab boxes for wall, old work or retro boxes, I call it. Just do not use them in the ceiling, mainly the round ones. So... Uh, that's all for now.